So when we redid our curriculum, the focus was really on giving people the opportunity to lead and learn about leading. One of the biggest misconceptions about the MBA is that it's only for business students. In fact, it's designed for students from every major. We have uh, anthropologists, English majors, philosophers, even uh, chefs from culinary academies. While you may have a few foundation courses to take to get up to speed, really the program is designed to develop people as entry or mid-level managers in any position. So if you ever are going to find yourself in a position of management or responsibility in an organization, the MBA has value because that's what we're preparing you to do. One of the perfect examples about leadership and how complex it is, is students really want to know, well, what's the best way to lead? Is there a silver bullet approach? And the problem is that there isn't. It's really complex and it varies from situation to situation. I, I really like using a basketball example. Sports is always compelling. It's easy for students to relate to. And if you use Bobby Knight from Indiana Days and, and the Hoosiers and Coach K from Duke, you have two phenomenally different leadership styles. They're on polar opposites almost, but they've had the same level of success in a lot of ways. And it allows the students to understand well, what makes a leader successful, what makes them uh, appreciated, what makes them valued, and what works. So when we recently redid the curriculum in our MBA program, the number one thing that all employers that hire MBAs and our own MBA students currently in the program, those who graduated, they said leadership was the number one skill that they were lacking when they got to the organization. So everyone said this is the number one issue that we're facing and, and our curriculum had very little to do with leadership, not just learning about leadership, but actually becoming a leader. So when we redid our curriculum, the focus was really on giving people the opportunity to lead and learn about leading and become better leaders so that when they graduate they hit the ground running rather than learning on the job which is typically what people do and we do it poorly. Um, the latest research 2011 said 75 percent of people report the worst aspect of their job is their immediate supervisor. 75 percent. It's crazy. The, the way in which we give our students opportunities to lead uh, comes from highly experiential activities both inside and outside the classroom. We engage students in high ropes courses and low ropes courses on our campus which put them in uh, precarious situations, sometimes 60 feet in the air where they have to work together to overcome obstacles. Uh, and the most innovative, we take students to Mount Katahdin in Maine for a program we call Leadership on the Edge where 10 to 12 students summit uh, Mount Katahdin along the Knife Edge Ridge. It's a phenomenal challenge. Uh, one that takes between 16 and 22 hours to complete and students run through the gamut of both physical and emotional hardship that day. You find out a lot about yourself which really is the core aspect of leadership, developing self-awareness and you find what it takes to lead a group of people through a really really difficult task. We start that at the beginning of uh, each fall semester and it gives students a perspective, a shared case, shared experience that they get to use throughout the semester to reflect back upon. So we start our program with highly experiential team building exercises and that carries on through the program. Brings students together, it makes them more comfortable to work together in other classes and it makes for a better program. I'm much more a Coach K guy and what I like about him is, is uh, you know, he wrote a book called Leadership with Heart and he really understands that uh, uh, Fundamentally, leadership is about managing the emotions of other people. First you manage your own energy and then you manage the energy of your players. Fear only goes so far. That's not to say that in uh, behind closed doors he doesn't crack the whip, but that's used in, in small doses and he gets that. So he really understands that uh, leadership is about um, bringing people together and making and making them aware and realize that you really care about their own good that there's a bigger picture it's not just wins but it's about making sure that these players do well both in school and in life off the basketball court